welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. If you would like to get a membership, you could find that in the join section, or if you would like to get a super, you could find that in the thanks section to help support this channel. All right, Scorpio, I scurried the crystal for you today, and the image I saw within the crystal for you was uh, an angelic being. Uh, this It was a woman, and she had long white hair, and her back was to me, and she was wearing a white dress, and you know, she was just basically light, and um, her her wings were, you know, very large and big, and they were very beautiful, but the image within, you know, the crystal showing her wings was not, like, traditional angel wings. They were, you know, more butterfly-like, you know, more fairy-like, so, you know, very beautiful energy there. Um, it, to me, it symbolizes an angel, someone that is, of, you know, of God, and, you know, very connected to nature, and, you know, like kind of like the fairy wings being connected to you know, the the butterflies and the trees, but take it how it resonates. You'll have to let me know in the comment section of how that applies to you. All right, let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you today was the Hierophant. So with the Hierophant card coming out, it's this is a traditional marriage. This is a by-the-book marriage here with the Hierophant card. Um, if you are not currently married, then I see this in your future that you will have a very solid marriage. Next card out is the sun card. So this is, you know, soulmate energy. This is love. This is happiness. You and your significant other will be very happy together. And it's almost like an innocent childlike type of love here. Next card out for you was the strength card. So if something is going on, there could have been an argument within the relationship, something that you know, made you have to, uh, you know, need a lot of strength to get through it. You know, it's normal to have spats and arguments. So perhaps, you know, there was something that happened that caused, you know, a little bit of a spat between, you know, the two of you. Next card out is the Ace of Cups. So you're going to have happiness and abundance and joy overflowing. You're going to overcome any problems or difficulties within this relationship. Next card out is the Seven of Coins. This is planting your seeds. You know, you're working towards this. You're waiting for, you know, the things to come into manifestation. And the hard work is going to pay off. Oops, drop that. Next card out for you is the Justice card. So there's going to be justice. The scales are going to be weighed and, you know, balanced out evenly. So if there were people within your relationship that were trying to cause, you know, disputes and fights and instigating, you know, you guys to fight... There's going to be justice, you know, so they're going to receive bad karma for causing, you know, disruption in your relationship, and you guys will receive good karma. Next card out is the Eight of Wands. So this is fast um, action. This is fast movement of messages. So this could be through word of mouth, text messages, phone call, letter, you know, take it how it resonates. That it's a form of communication. Next card out is the Knave of Cups. So with the Knave of Cups being here, you know, you're going to receive a message of love. So I feel like this person, if you guys are having an argument, they're going to reach out to you and apologize and, you know, offer their, you know, their love here. Next card out is Willow, Interconnection. So the symbolism of this card is, you know, knowing that we're all intuitively connected. And especially if you are very close to someone, then you intuitively know when something's wrong with this individual. You guys can pick up on each other's emotions. And it also can symbolize, you know, if someone's having a bad day, don't allow it to take it to heart, you know, kind of put yourself in their shoes and think of times that, you know, maybe you were, you know, kind of stressed out and maybe, you know, you know, we're just not in the most social mood. So if this person was like kind of grouchy with you, it's letting you know, basically don't let it, you know, don't take it to heart. And the symbolism, symbolism of it is also to, you know, always, you know, protect your energy as well. You know, because sometimes we could pick up on each other's, you know, bad moods and then, you know, carry it with us. Um, the medicinal benefit of the willow is the bark has uh, the medicinal properties of aspirin. So it is a pain reliever. Um, next card out for you is Jingle Dress. Miracles. So this card uh, has a story behind it where, you know, back in... 
the day where there was a, uh, I believe it was the flu pandemic of 1918, um, according to what that says there, is there was a little girl that was very sick, and her father had a vision of dancers wearing a dress with bells on it, and she participated in this dance, and she was healed. So the, the symbolism of this card is miracles, and letting you know that to keep praying, you know, asking God for whatever it is that you want to receive, ask in Jesus' name, and, you know, ask and you shall receive, and you will receive blessings, and to know that nothing is impossible for God, and he can create, you know, all types of miracles within your life. All right, Scorpio, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.